Meiosis can be tough for students to understand. Help them visualize its multiple stages in interactive 3D with visible biology. Meiosis is the process by which sex cells, or gametes, are formed. Meiosis has two rounds of cell division, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, which are illustrated in separate 3D simulations in visible biology. Each one of these rounds has a prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase of its own. Meiosis 1 starts with a diploid cell. In interphase, before meiosis 1, its DNA replicates. The end result of meiosis will be four haploid daughter cells that are genetically unique from the parent cell and from one another. Visible biology shows the processes that lead to this genetic diversity. In prophase 1, the homologous, matching, chromosomes from the mother and father pair up to form homologous chromosome pairs, or tetrads. These paired chromosomes swap homologous sections of their DNA, mixing genetic material from the mother and father. In prometaphase 1, the nuclear envelope dissolves and spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes. You can see here that crossing over has occurred. During metaphase 1, all the tetrads line up in the middle of the cell. However, the way they are arranged during this step determines which sets of sister chromatids get pulled into each daughter cell during anaphase 1. This is called independent assortment. Telophase 1 and cytokinesis of meiosis 1 result in two daughter cells containing sister chromatids. Each of these daughter cells then splits during meiosis 2. There is no additional DNA replication between meiosis 1 and 2. In prophase 2, the spindle fibers form, and in prometaphase 2, those fibers attach to the sister chromatids and start to move them towards the middle of the cells. In metaphase 2, the sister chromatids line up in the middle of the cells, and in anaphase 2, they are then pulled apart. Telophase 2 and cytokinesis of meiosis 2 result in the formation of four new cells. The four cells that form during meiosis 2 are haploid, having only half the number of chromosomes as the original diploid parent cell. The moving model makes it easy to visualize how this happens. Watch carefully how the tetrads are pulled apart during meiosis 1, resulting in daughter cells that each have a set of sister chromatids. Then, during meiosis 2, these sister chromatids are pulled apart, resulting in daughter cells that each have a set of single chromosomes. To learn more about how to use these models in your classroom, and how to use them to create assignments for your students, visit visiblebiology.com.